What is the value of the expression 5 minus 1 inside the parentheses, then plus 4 to the power of 2, and multiply by 5 minus 2 inside the parentheses? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression looks very simple, but only 5% of people can find the correct answer. Let's break it down and solve it together. And the first step to solve this question, most people start with the expression inside the first parenthesis and simplify this expression to 4 plus 4 squared multiplied by 5 minus 2 inside the parenthesis. And the next step, they usually move on to the exponent and replace this expression with 4 plus 16 times 5 minus 2 inside the parenthesis. Then, they perform the addition between 4 and 16 and simplifying this expression to 20 times 5 minus 2 inside the parenthesis. And the final step, they go for the expression inside the parenthesis and replace it with 20 times 3, which ultimately gives them the answer 60. And without any hesitation, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. Alright, now let's go through this question step by step and solve it together. To solve this problem, we must follow the PEMDAS rule. And this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. It means that we need to perform all the operations exactly in order from top to bottom according to the PEMDAS rule. Alright, as you can see in the image and this expression, first we have parenthesis, then an addition sign, followed by an exponent, then a multiplication sign, and finally another parenthesis. According to the PEMDAS rule, we should always start with the parenthesis, since they have the highest priority among all the operations. So, instead of the original expression, we can write it as 4 plus 4 squared multiplied by 3. And the next step, it's time to handle the exponent, because after parenthesis, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, we direct this expression as 4 plus 16 times 3. Finally, we need to perform the multiplication between 16 and 3, because multiplication has a higher priority than addition. And this expression simplifies to 4 plus 48, which ultimately gives us the answer 52. Therefore, option B is the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 68 divided by 2 over 5 multiplied by 10? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's go step by step and solve it together. At the beginning of solving this question, many people go straight to the expression 2 over 5 multiplied by 10, which I have highlighted in yellow, because they think multiplication has priority over division. And they say it's easy to simplify 10 with the 5 in the denominator and write this expression as 68 divided by 4, which finally gives them the answer 17. Then, without any hesitation, they immediately say that the correct answer to this question is option B. However, that's definitely wrong. Alright, now let me explain step by step how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule exactly as I've shown on the screen. It means that we have to perform all the operations in order from top to bottom. Alright, as you can see on the screen, and this expression, we have one division sign followed by a multiplication sign. It's very important to note that multiplication and division are at the same level of precedence. In this case, the best thing to do is to start from the left side of the expression and move step by step toward the right. So, first we start with the expression 68 divided by 2 over 5. Okay, whenever we come across a division sign between two terms, the best thing to do is to apply the KCF rule. And this rule, K stands for keep the first number as it is. C stands for change the division sign to multiplication. And F stands for flip the second fraction. So, we remove the highlighted part and replace it with 68 multiplied by 5 over 2. Now, the number 68 cancels out with the 2 in the denominator and this expression simplifies to 170 multiplied by 10, which finally gives us the answer 1700. Therefore, option D is the correct answer to this question.